Okay, what's up everybody? Uh, this is my video two submission where I'm gonna go through these four questions and we're gonna have some discussion, hopefully. Hopefully you'll talk to me about you know, what I've said here and, and we'll just have some good discussions as a class. Um, okay, number one, talking about what is my motivation to be in school? My motivation to be in school is simply like a big picture thing where I want to be in school to uh, be in a profession that I want to be in, get the degree, get the sticker that said I did this so I can do what I want to do in life, make a decent amount of money and support a family and be able to, to just live the life that I, I've always dreamed about, which is not like, you know, kicking my feet up on the beach and hanging out and doing nothing. It's hard work, but I'm getting paid enough money to where the hard work pays off and I'm able to support a uh, family and loved ones and live comfortably doing what I want to do through the education and trainings that I have um, completed and succeeded in hopefully. Um, so what do I do when I'm feeling a motivated? I stop everything I'm doing, right? I stop school, I stop thinking, I go for a run, I go for a bike ride, I go and work out or I go and spend time with loved ones whether it's friends or um, a partner or anything like that uh, people that facilitate an environment where you're not stressing out you're not worrying even if it's only for an hour or two you can put pause on all the stress and crap that is causing you to feel a motivated take three steps back and then start to take a few steps forward um, after you've gained a new perspective because you let it go for a second uh, number three, uh, I wanted to focus on high school because I particularly remember in all of the sports that I was involved with, whether it was tennis, football, track, or, or soccer especially, um, I think there should be a, a much more severe punishment for mouthing off to refs, officials, coaches, uh, anyone that is in an authoritative position. Uh, they're there for a reason, and they have that power for a reason, and it is 99.9% .9 of the time for the betterment of the sport and when athletes feel like they are in a position to not only challenge but you know just really get rough and nasty with like refs especially okay soccer um, something happens and you know whether the athlete is flopped around on the ground like a fish and just decides to get up and you just scream and holler at the ref, I feel like the punishment should be an immediate suspension, whether it's for that half or if it were to be a different sport, whether it's a quarter or it's the rest of the game. There should be some sort of severe punishment for mouthing off to a ref because that is just... The, the, the refs are there, right? They're there to enforce the rules of the game as they see fit. And sometimes as they see fit is not exactly what you want, but that's that's life, right? Life isn't fair. You got to kind of, you know, begin to, to realize that early on. And when a, an authority figure says this is how it's going to be, that's how it's going to be. And you just have to learn to, you know, be okay with that and move on. And I feel like that should be uh, much more um, important in high school as you're about to turn these young adults loose in the world. And if you don't get onto them, if you let that, that, uh, behavior just go unchecked, then you're turning loose a bunch of young adults who have no respect for authority or for how the world works, and then they're going to have a really rude awakening when their boss tells them to do something, and they mouth off or they get you know upset or they say something back to the boss, and then they're off on the curb because that's just how it works. <laughs> it's not like you can get away with that in real world situations. Um, anyway, sorry to sound like a dad, but I feel like they're there for a reason, so you should respect that, and there should be a punishment for when you don't. Um, okay, so number four, my nugget of motivation would be Dick and Rick Hoyt. Um, that brought tears to my eyes. I would love to do a half Iron Man, or if my body could take it, I'd love to do a full Iron Man. Um, but seeing that bond between father and son, and just Dick Hoyt being like the pinnacle of like a paternal figure and I mean father of the century it feels like I just 
I, I aspire to be, you know, that loving and that caring and, and have that good of a bond with, you know, my son or daughter and in the future. And that's just, it, it was so motivating. I immediately was like, okay, I'm stopping what I'm doing. I'm going to the gym or I'm going to run. And this is just crazy. And I had tears rolling down my face and I usually don't cry when I watch stuff. And I was, it was great. It's an awesome video. And that's probably going to be something I go back to frequently because that was awesome. <laughs> but anyway, this is my video to submission and um, I hope you enjoy. Uh, maybe leave comments or discussion post stuff and we can talk about anything you want to talk about. Um, yeah, hope you have a great week.